Welcome to Evaluating Web Sources, a tutorial brought to you by Minnesota State University Mankato's Library Services. In this tutorial, we'll investigate if freely available websites are appropriate for your assignments and provide tips to determine the quality of a website. Ebooks, newspapers, social media, journals, wikis. With all this information to choose from, how do you decide what sources are appropriate for your research at Minnesota State Mankato? Well, for many of us, we began looking for information by going to our favorite search engine, like Google. Search engines like Google are great ways to find free websites and up-to-the-minute information, like breaking news stories. But the problem with that is that anybody can publish just about anything online. A website may come from a highly qualified expert, like Neil deGrasse Tyson or from fifth graders publishing their history reports. But before gathering information on the web for an assignment, we need to ask what type of information do I need for my assignment? The easiest way to find information for your assignment is by narrowing out what you can and cannot use. For instance, in your assignment, can you use information based on personal opinions? Or do you need information supported by research or other types of evidence? Well, most college-level assignments require information developed through research rather than information based on personal opinions. If you use a search engine like Google to find source ads, chances are you'll find a lot of websites. But the problem you'll be confronted with is the concern of finding quality information that isn't opinion-based. Since anyone can publish a website or an article online, how can you tell if it's reliable? Well, for every source, you should check your cables. Cables is an acronym that will guide you through the process of evaluating a source for reliability and appropriateness for an assignment. First, C stands for currency. When was your information posted or published? The internet has been around for quite a while, and some of the sources on it may be fairly outdated. You'll want to look and see if the website source you found is recent enough to have up-to-date current information. The A in cable stands for authority. You should always consider the author. Who wrote the piece? Are they an expert that we trust to know the topic? Look for relevant credentials that make them an authority on the topic or a trustworthy source of information. For instance, a person who has been teaching for 20 years would be more reliable author about school policies than, say, your dentist. Just like a medical doctor would be more trustworthy when it comes to medical information than your English professor, as that's what they're trained in. B means bias. We're looking for any slant in the source that may skew the information in it. For instance, some websites are created to persuade you. The main purpose of these sites is to change your point of view, and the information presented on these sites often heavily promote one side of the argument, an occasion where bias will likely be present. Just reading the title of this website, Legalization of Marijuana, reveals the author's position on the topic. It is highly unlikely this site will contain any negative information on the use of marijuana, because it likely won't persuade you that it needs to be legalized. If you're working on an assignment that requires research-based information, you do not want to use persuasive sites that do not refer to their source of information or that may rely on opinion rather than fact in an effort to promote their ideas. These sources are likely highly biased and highly unreliable. The Allen Cable stands for level. You want information that is an appropriate level or complexity for your research and your audience. Consider who the source is written for. If it's written for children, or a generic audience, the information may be simplified or trimmed down. More academic sources will be written for professionals with detailed complex information present. This information is likely to be better support for your source than something that has been simplified. Make sure that your source is the appropriate level of complexity and depth for your assignment. The E stands for end goal. What is the purpose of this piece? Some websites are created to entertain, like The Onion or other parody sites. These sites are created to grab your attention with sensational or humorous headlines, like parodies of current events. 
They are meant for fun, but not to inform and often stretch or twist the truth. Other websites are intentionally there to rile you up or make you feel a certain way. They similarly will use sensational or extreme headlines and skew the truth in order to make you feel one way or another. And yet other websites are created to make money. While they provide some information, this information supports the main goal of the site, and that's often to sell you something. That means they may leave out important information just because they want to sell you a product. This may be like a site making outrageous health claims or only giving you part of the information in order to get you to buy a product. This is where information can get biased and skewed. Overall, you'll want to look for websites that are created to educate and inform the public. These sites are helpful as you begin learning about a topic. This leads us to our last factor, S for support. Any facts or information you find should be supported by other resources. Good sources usually list the information the authors use to write the page. And those sources are a good sign that this information is trustworthy. Look for pages that use footnotes, bibliographies, or references. Also check out their links. Do they lead to other reliable websites or unreliable sources of information? A source that has good citation and references other good sources increases the likelihood that the source is reliable. And then, always remember to check outside sources to see if that information agrees. You'll want to verify the information you've discovered. Check places like news, government, and education sites. Even better, compare the information you found on the website with information in books and journal articles. If you cannot find other sources that support the information on the website, the website you found is probably not reliable. Remember, freely available websites are often good sources for up-to-the-minute information and personal opinions, but you'll want to evaluate the information on each site carefully to determine their reliability, since anyone can publish on a website. If you're having difficulty judging the reliability or quality of a website, remember to check the cables. Remember, we're here to help. If you have any questions, contact a librarian. You can do this in person at the library's reference desk, by phone, by email, or through our 24-7 online chat.